Now the runner's just walking forward, almost ready to go. Racing for the JNWine.com champion chase, this grade one contest over the three miles, and Sylvia Naka Conti with the last samurai goes straight into the lead on the run towards fence number one. They've been taken along in third spot by Don Poli. Sadler's risk is in four. Monksland just behind as they are followed by Valsor Lido, and the early back marker is Lord Scoundrel. Heading now on the approach towards the first, and it is on the inside. Silvianaco Conti with the last samurai for company. They're all safely out over fence number one. Heading into the turn now. Going to bring them across towards fences two and three. Silvianaco Conti and Noel Feely on the inside of the last samurai and David Bass. They're being chased in third by Sadler's Risk and David Mullins. Don Poli's just outside. Barry Geraghty aboard. And this group of four are followed by Monksland Sean Flanagan towards the outside as Valsor Lido and Ruby Walsh and Lord Scoundrel under Keith Donoghue bring up the rear. They head now towards fence number three, the first of the ditches, and it's the last samurai who's going to take off on the far side with on the near side Sylvia Naco Conti, who's a little bit quicker over that one. They've opened up a three to four length lead over Sadler's Risk racing in third. Don Poli's being ridden along early just to hold position alongside Sadler's Risk, then Monksland next. They're being followed by Valsar Lido, and the back marker remains Lord Scoundrel. They reappear now on their way towards the fence before the turn into the straight. Silvianaco Conti going to lead them over from on the outside, the last samurai. They're being chased in third by Sadler's Risk, and Barry Geraghty becoming a little more animated now already on Don Poli. Monksland is on the inside, Valsar Lido the outer, and a break of a couple of lengths to the back marker, Lord Scoundrel. They go now towards the fence at the top of the track, beginning the descent first time. And as they do so, it is Silvianaco Conti on the inside, this multiple grade one winner being followed in second by the Aintree Grand National runner-up, The Last Samurai. They're being chased in third by Don Poli, three times grade one winner himself, Sadler's Wrist down the inside. Further back to Valsor Lido, who's next. Monksland is just behind them, and the Galway Plate winner, Lord Scoundrel, is the back marker of seventh. Two fences now to bring them up to pass the stands, and on the inside, Silvianaco Conti with on the near side, The Last Samurai. Very little between them since flagfall. <coughs> Coming toward the fence, which will be their last in a circuit's time. Silvianaco Conti going to lead them over. The Last Samurai and the Sheepskin Noseman over towards the near side. Don Poli is third. They're being followed on the inside by Sadler's Risk. Couple of strong reminders now for Don Poli. Behind the leading quartet is Valsor Lido. He sits five. Monksland is down the inside six. And Lord Scoundrel is the back marker of seven. So they turn now away from the stands. Next fence comes up pretty quickly off the bend. And Silvianaco Conti is going to lead them to it. The last samurai is racing in second. Don Poli is going to jump it in third. Sadler's Risk is in company with Valsor Lido. But a length behind these, but in between them is Monksland and Lord Scoundrels trying to prove up on the outside. Next to the ditch is coming up now. Silvianaco Conti with on the outside the last samurai. Don Poli racing in third still. Then just behind this one, Sadler's Risk. Valsor Lido is next. Behind Valsor Lido on the inside is Monksland, and he's in company with Lord Scoundrel. Heading into the turn now. That's going to bring them along the back straight and heading towards fence number 10. Sylvia Conti, Noel Feely leads the last samurai and David Bass. Racing in third spot is Don Poli and Barry Geraghty. Fourth behind these is Sadler's Risk and David Mullins. Then comes Valsor Lido and Ruby Walsh. Lord Scoundrels further back in the field with Monksland, Keith Donoghue and Shane Flanagan. Coming on now towards the first of the fences along the back straight and as they do so, it is Sylvia Conti who leads over from the last samurai. They're increasing the lead this pair. Opening up to about five lengths or so. Don Poli is leading the main body of the field. Valsar Lido's just behind. And then towards the inside, Sadler's Risk, Monksland and Lord Scoundrel remain the back pair. They've completed a circuit and they head right across the far side, about a mile left to race. Silvio Naco Conti continuing to show the way to the last samurai. Valsar Lido's making a little headway now at the inside of Don Poli. Sadler's Risk is next. They're being followed by Monksland and Lord Scoundrel, although the back marker is still very much in touch. So going to make their way on now towards fence number 11. Silvia Naco Conti with the last samurai. Valsar Lido jumped it well and improves. Then comes Don Poli. Lord Scoundrel's picking up position, and behind these is Monksland trying to move through, and on the inside is Sadler's Risk. So they head now towards the two fences, which come up pretty quickly behind the clubhouse. Silvia Naco Conti has the last samurai never too far away <coughs> they're being followed in third by Valsor Lido on the outside is Lord Scoundrel Monksland is next then comes Sadler's Risk and Don Poli has filtered his way back to the back of the pack final ditch coming up Silvio Naco Conti had to organise himself Monksland hit it hard he's gone Monksland's a faller there both horse and rider quickly away and Silvio Naco Conti leads the last samurai is now coming under pressure as Valsor Lido looks the danger Lord Scoundrel is back in four and then a good break back to Sadler's Risk and Don Poli's dropped right out heading across now to make 
break their way on towards the fourth last fence. The fence before the turn in. Silvia Naco Conti leads by two to three lengths to in second spot Valser Lido. Then the last samurai who's hard ridden. Lord Scoundrel still trying to pick up and this quartet have drawn away from Sadler's Rest. They're at the top of the track. They've three to jump in the J and Wine.com chase and it's Silvia Naco Conti who's yet to properly see a rival but he's about to see Valser Lido very soon you'd think. Behind this pair is a ridden along last samurai and a ridden along Lord Scoundrel. Silvia Naco Conti on the inside but on the outside Valser Lido and Ruby Walsh travel very very strongly indeed. They're being chased by Lord Scoundrel. Next behind them is the last samurai and Sadler's Risk rounding the elbow towards the second last and Valser Lido goes to the front now. Silvia Naco Conti is truly headed back and third is Lord Scoundrel. Valser Lido is over the second last and beginning to lengthen towards the final fence. Back in second Silvia Naco Conti can give no more but heading down towards the final fence it is Valser Lido who's out in front and Claire from Silvia Naco Conti back in second and a very professional and polished performance from Valser Lido who's going to take the JNWine.com chase for Henry de Bromhead for Ruby Walsh and a fifth success in the race for Jiggenstown House stud. Valser Lido is your winner back in second is Silvia Naco Conti in third is Lord Scoundrel. Sadler's risk four the last samurai is five and just the five to finish Don Poli pulled up.